The Marvel Shebler TSX Series Carburetor Assembly. This video is brought to you by Just 8 Ends Ford Tractor Parts and Restoration Service. This assembly procedure applies to the TSX Series carburetors found on Ford tractors from 1939 to 1952. This video details the assembly of the carburetor after cleaning or installing a rebuild kit. There may be some minor differences between your carburetor and the one shown, but most of the assembly procedure applies to all the TSX variants. Starting with the bottom half of the carburetor, or the bowl, look at the bottom face. The strain and retainer expansion plug is not normally removed from the carburetor bowl, but if it needs to be installed, press it in the hole in the bottom of the carburetor bowl as shown. Screw in and tighten the drain plug. The drain plug has a pipe thread and must be snug to prevent fuel leakage, but be careful not to over tighten as the carburetor bowl will crack. Now insert the choke shaft packing and press in the choke shaft packing retainer. Orient the choke shaft return spring and choke shaft as shown and fully insert into the carburetor bowl. Grab the choke fly with a pair of needle nose pliers and insert it into the slot in the choke shaft. Adjust the choke fly until the screw holes in the fly line up with the threaded holes in the shaft. Now rotate the choke shaft to put the choke in the fully closed position and hold in place. Install two number six screw and lock washer assemblies. Rotate the choke to the fully open position and attach the return spring hook to the choke shaft lever arm if not already done so. The main jet is installed in a hole located at the bottom of the main fuel passage. Insert the main jet in the hole and tighten, being careful not to over tighten and damage the screw slot. It's advisable to file down a flathead screwdriver so as to fit snugly in the main jet's screw slot. This prevents damage to the slot allowing for easier removal when necessary. Place a gasket on the main nozzle and install the nozzle in the main fuel passage. Screw in by hand and then snug it up with the socket wrench. The relative locations of the main jet and nozzle are as shown in this cutaway. The carburetor bowl is now completely assembled. Set it aside while the throttle body is assembled. Insert the throttle shaft packing in the throttle body as shown. Press in the throttle shaft packing retainer until it's flush with the surface. Assemble the throttle shaft lever by inserting the adjusting screw into the retainer spring and into the threaded hole on the lever. Then fully insert the lever assembly into the throttle body. The throttle fly is now attached to the throttle shaft. The fly must be correctly oriented or it won't fit or function properly. To install it, look at the beveled edges of the fly from a side view. Make sure that the edges are facing as shown. When installed correctly and the fly is closed, the beveled edge on the fly makes an airtight seal with the wall of the carburetor throat. Then place the fly on top of the shaft flat and install two number six screw and lock washer assemblies. Screw in and tighten the fuel elbow and strainer and orient as shown. This is also a pipe thread and must be snug to prevent leaks, but over tightening can lead to a cracked throttle body. Put the idle air adjusting screw into its spring and install on the throttle body. Install the economizer jet and then the idle jet. Install the float valve seat and gasket and then place the float valve into the seat. Place the Venturi on the throttle body throat face with the larger diameter below the smaller one. Place the carburetor gasket on the throttle body. Carefully push the Venturi through the opening in the gasket 
as it is placed on the mating surface. Now insert the float hinge in the hinge support and slide in the float pin. Before assembling the carburetor halves, it is necessary to verify that the float lever arm is adjusted correctly. To do this, make sure that the distance between the gasket surface and the bottom of the lever is one quarter of an inch. Remove and adjust the lever as necessary to obtain this clearance. To adjust the lever, use a pair of needle nose pliers clamped in front of the float hinge to bend the lever arms. It is best to do this in a few small incremental steps. Now lower the throttle body straight down on the bowl, being careful not to upset the float or venturi. Adjust the gasket and carburetor halves to align the screw holes. Install the four mating screws. Install the main adjusting needle with the spring, washer, and gasket. Insert two mounting studs in the top of the carburetor. Place the throttle body to intake manifold gasket over the mounting studs and the carburetor is now completely assembled. To see more videos from Just 8 Ends, remember to like and subscribe.